So I'm back after a short break, and now this show is on Thursdays, because now in addition to playing and talking about video games, I actually have other responsibilities, such as the two tiny humans that live in my house are now back in school. And what they don't tell you about children going to school is that when they have homework, you have homework. And sometimes you just want to say, kid, can you just not learn how to read? I mean, Grand Theft Auto just came out, and I'd rather be teaching Franklin to shoot better than help you figure out what four apples plus five apples is. I also have a job now. Yes, over the last couple months before this, I was just sitting on my ass drinking copious amounts of alcohol and generally just playing lots of video games. And now I have less time to do that because of gainful employment. And I shouldn't complain, but Grand Theft Auto just came out and the next two sections of the Raven are out and I want to be playing those too. But goodness, kid, you have more homework? You're only in the first grade. When I was in the first grade, I spent my afternoons watching Power Rangers and playing my Sega Genesis and not doing in hours worth of homework every single night. I know this isn't a new problem or a problem unique to me. 9gag and Reddit are littered weekly with the whole don't have a job, no money to buy video games, have a job, no time to play video games thing. But after spending the last four years of college not having time to play video games because I had to read, compare, and contrast Madame Bovary with Season 1, Episode 6 of Duck Dynasty, I always thought that once I had just work to deal with that life would totally be like it was when I was a kid. But but now I'm watching my kid have to do 10 pounds of homework in the first grade and she can't even have the sort of fun, carefree, video game-filled existence that I once had. So both I and my child are learning how to rebudget our time to make sure that we both have ample opportunity for our favorite hobby, since for me the PS4 is coming and Watch Dogs and a new NBA game and the Guided Fate Paradox, and for her there is Knack and a new Skylanders game and a Yoshi Yarn game and Disney Infinity, which I have on good authority that Santa is totally putting under the tree this Christmas. So I've changed the day this show airs to make it more congruent to this new life. I've tried working extra hard to help my daughter get her work done quickly so we both have time to play, and I've started sleeping less because, well, about four cups of coffee can replace each hour of lost sleep, and, well, Grand Theft Auto isn't going to play itself, and who needs more than three hours of sleep a night anyways? So look for a new Culture Rising every Thursday, and I promise that on future Thursdays I'll be less whiny about how my gainful employment and my child's first-class education are causing us to spend less time playing expensive toys on our big-screen HD television, because although I hate the phrase first-world problems, that's about as first-world as it gets. (laughs) 